Graduate with honors. We're here because you're looking for the best of the best of the best. Sir! Hey guys, welcome back to Red Hot Raids. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you've had a good week of Clash and uh, we've got a good week to show here for replays. We've got uh, three Town Hall 10 hits. We've got one Town Hall 9 hitting up and then we've got three other Town Hall 9s to finish it all off. So the new week where we've had the patch go live, of course, had the reduced time on the raids and it affects it all. It's, um, it's all a part of it, but it's all a part of the fun as far as I'm concerned. So let's get into this week's replays, and we're looking at Aussie Addicts first, and this is going to be Shine Eternal doing a um, go the ho. So it was quite early in the week for this one. The um, units were quite new, and like a kid at a candy store, he wanted everything old shiny, and he's bought the hounds. Uh, sorry, the hulks. He's bought the valks and gotten straight into it. even the level two hurler. Unfortunately, those um, skellies chomped him up pretty quick. Otherwise, he would have done a fair bit more damage. But you see him with a theory there trying to herd. And it'll be interesting to see uh, exactly how they do go in the, in the coming weeks. Um, I've seen a couple of replays. I don't have any myself yet. And they're going to be really no good before level 2 or 3 anyway. So even once you get them, you've still got to upgrade them. So I don't smash out too many gems myself. We see um, here, uh, where are we? He's got a split hero section. Unfortunately, his, his wall breakers went a bit haywire which forced him to use extra on his king's group. And you just see these Valks, they just absolutely rip it up. They've got the rage, and before you know it, they're out of the rage and everything's dead. <laughs> so the queen's had to walk around. Um, oh, Jimmy Bob, he's going to smash it up up top there. And uh, he's still got the golem that's still going as well. So a freeze on that uh, multi, that remaining level 2 multi. And he starts with those hogs off on the flank there, so... Yeah, he, he does well with these. I love the looks of the new hogs. Um, the new Valks, they're a very real threat in uh, a lot of raids. I've seen a lot of Town Hall 9 two-stars easily taking out Town Hall 10s. And I'm talking anti-two-star bases here. Um, they just absolutely nail it. So, yeah, he's still got a rage left. Uh, it's pretty much all she wrote, you know. Thank you, Mother, for the rabbits. That's going to be it. The Queen's just popped in now to say hello. How you doing? There's a uh, giant bomb left down the bottom there. And you see after that giant bomb, they've still got a good little bit of health left, the old hoggies. They've got an extra 60 hit points or 61 or 62 hit points, something like that, with the update. So um, I was always curious to see that. I wonder next, are they going to do golems or are they going to do balloons? That's my two guesses. So great raid shine. Leading the way, showing us how to do those go the hose. He loved it at Town Hall 9. He's going to love it more at Town Hall 10. Now this was War Wales. Um... In their week's replay, just the one from them, unfortunately. And we're looking at a Town Hall 9 hit up. So um, he's gone in with a go uh with a Queen Walk to start off with. So you can see there, two level 4 Golems, five level 4 Valks. I wonder if he's got the Clan Castle Valks. Um, and he takes head on into those three point defences there. So he's doing well with that. Wall breakers come out. He knows he's got no splash to worry about. So he knows he doesn't have to worry about the wizard towers or the mortar shells or anything like that. So it was always good to get those wall breakers in. Didn't need any extra test or anything like that. That one wizard's going to do a great job on that archer tower there because it was going to be a while before the queen got to it. That's also going to push the queen the way he wants it to go. And what's he got? He's got a dozen wizards to go with it. Lots of rage. So you're seeing a lot more rage with the Valks at higher level than heals because by the time they get out of it, they've, they've really got no effect out of the heal, whereas you can get the uh, rage, smash what's in there and just keep moving on. So good use of a poison there. That's hit both heroes at the time. And now it'll be interesting to see where that queen goes. Second, poison down, dragon Valk in the clan castle. Sorry, dragon witch in the clan castle. Where's the, he's still got his clan castle left, so I'm, I'm guessing that it was going to be Valks. Those two golems go in. Out comes old Jimmy Bob. And, yep, we had the one giant and the Valks to go with it. So, obviously, just to get your numbers matching right, you, you get that one giant on top of it. So, those Valks are going to rip it up now. I'm guessing he's going to throw that rage down shortly. 
there you go, they've gone up top. So he's waited to see what direction those Valks ran, and you just see how quick and nasty they are. So they've taken a fair whack of damage, but everything else is dying. That left Jimmy Bob to go down the side and the bottom, and you see this base design, it's, it's designed to do that. That's why he's got that one section of wall removed, is to get things to pat around that inferno while that inferno's smashing away. It's only, it is actually a max inferno, so that's going to do a lot of damage to units pathing around, and obviously with the new targeting systems and all of that. Unfortunately, he lost his healers to that uh, golem in the midfield, but um, all good from there. Going to get kicked offline. <laughs> That'll be from uh, Captain Awesome. So we're looking at Clashing Dead. This is their first hit for the week. Um, and it's Dracul. I don't know that I've met Dracul, so welcome into Red Hot Raids. Dracul, um, obviously the Clashing Dead's the feeder to above and beyond. And you see this base, it's quite common in um, Farm Wars. You see with the two Infernos flanking that Town Hall and they're inviting you in. They want you to take on that town hall and get a low percentage one, uh, sorry, a high percentage one or a low percentage two. But uh, there's just so many better ways to hit the base. And Dracul here, he's taken the uh, Queen Walk Lava Loon. He's got a few wizards spare, and that's going to be for his king down the track. So you see, he's getting that um, opened up nice and quick on that archer tower there. And what I liked about this start was he got those three minions down, and the minions are going to do the job of hurting for the queen. But then they're also going to take fire, and you see it take uh, one or two shots off that air defence, and that meant his healers have all stayed alive, so that's worked well. King down the bottom now by himself, old Jimmy Bob with a couple of wizards, uh, three wizards all up. He does have a couple of hogs, so I wonder where he's going to use those. So the Dragon Loon clan castle, a bit of a silly clan castle really. Uh, but he is going to have to pop his queen because he's got no poisons for that. So it does that, knocks out on the head. And what was good about this was the queen on queen action there. And uh, that really helped, otherwise old Jimmy Bob would have died and they may not have got that air defense down. I don't know that he would have desperately needed it, but good job from the king there. Good job from that with uh, just a few wall breakers. That's also going to force... The queen into the middle, and she's going to start helping with those defences in the middle just to help that at loon pathing. Gets his freeze out, only level four freeze. Use his last haste. Very good with the loon pathing here, so he's done awesome, and that inferno's gone down. The Hound has dropped, but uh, he's just got a heap of loons and it's just going to smother that air defence down. So, old Albert's going to fast forward for us shortly. Queen's still pew pewing away in the midfield. Quite low heroes when you look at it. Level 30 King, level 32 Queen. All the units bar uh, Hound. We're still at Town Hall 9, so excellent work. What are we going into next? This is Above and Beyond's first replay for the week, and it was a Town Hall 10 walk lava loon as well. And uh, this was quite an interesting one. Um, looked like he had it absolutely smashed early on, but it came right down to the nail biting finish. Middle entries are always quite hard to get into corners uh, because the queen, she can just go so many different ways. So you see quite heavy on those minions um, on that spell factory down the bottom there, but that was needed and that was to get rid of that and then force that queen to uh, definitely go the, the correct direction, which was through the middle. And she's going to get that enemy queen now under the one rage and then knock off those two uh, air defense. So it's a good walk. It's a good analysis. The Queen gets that air defense down before it does too much damage to the healers. And uh, that means now she's got the clan castle, uh, which is the um, Hound. Just a 30cc by the size and looks of it. And then um, only got the Mortar firing at her. So it's a brilliant way of taking that on. Those minions are going to just get heaps of clearance down the bottom there. And uh, you see those three haste used there. Probably could have saved one. Because you see it just looks like it's absolutely smashing that base. But then those four Teslas on the middle, they're going to take their toll. They're definitely going to work it. 
and there was no real loons on that right hand flank and that's where it sort of slowed down there and that last balloon's going to go down before I think it gets that uh, inferno out so you've still got that uh, that, that hound still going so you've you've still got two air defences firing away the hound is tanking for as long as possible those um, pups are going to do a bit of tanking as well but the loon doesn't manage to get through so lots of pups but they quickly die to Teslas as we all know one shot quick firing out comes old Jimmy Bob save the day dun 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 Queen's up top there, you, you just see her out of, out of the video view, but uh, he's still got abilities on both, so it's not too much of a drama there, has to rage old Jimmy Bob, Queen's going to run down from the top there, trip a few bombs on her way, <coughs> excuse me, that's it, there's only the one Tesla left, Queen's still got her healers, so Popsy's uh, Queen's ability to cloak and uh, deals with the job at hand. Those barbarians still going. So Electro's with the uh, level 30 king, level 36 queen. So it's not too far up on the heroes. It always takes time, especially when you're dealing with 150 plus for Dark Elixir. So we have a look here with, um, this was an organised war on the weekend with above and, uh, sorry, who was it? Aussie Addicts versus JTJ. That's an American clan. And this base here was, it was a re hit. It actually took five hits to get it down. Um, I personally did have an attack versus this base and stuffed it. Uh, it wasn't a bad attack, but I was 94% or something like this. And this is Big's assessment of it. I've met him through, um, funnily enough, this, this YouTube series. He was searching for fair play, found it, and uh, just sent me a message and jumped into the organised war with us. So it was good fun for Big's. Um, he did have the six star war. And you see, he's got a queen walk couple of varied units where he's got a Valk and a few wizards to go with that and then uh, also the king so he used the Valk just purely as a tank at the start there and that was to force his queen hard walk into the inside and it worked a treat that rage was well timed that gets the queen fighting that uh, hound unfortunately she has got a fair bit on her so the level 2 expo the archer tower firing at her as well and soaks that um, first rage and then goes and uses a second one. So I don't remember where he's used the king, but he's still got two wizards left. There's no uh, wall breakers or anything like that. So you see those air defense were quite central. Good looking base. It was a really good base. I, I give the, the credit to uh, JT, JTJ for that. Um, because if your hounds get in there too early, then they're going to get absolutely stuffed before the loons come in to give them the reinforcement. So that's worked well. But the Queen, she does a fair job um, on the side there. Old Jimmy Bobby comes out now. And that looks like he's not even tanking defences by the looks of it. So he's missed that in time. But there's plenty of loons left. The last hound just goes down. So there's just heaps of pups firing now. Old Queenie, she's going to cop it on the head. And those um, healers are just going to stay on those archers, which is funny. Poor old King's up top there taking a bit of damage. But that was it. So great war, Biggs. Uh, certainly helped. Hopefully we can get him into another war where it's time. Next replay we're going to see is above and beyond... And it was C.F. Baggins. He's gone in with a Town Hall 9 Golar Loon. I think it was a 1-2 Golems. I think it was Shattered. The Clan Castle. Be interesting to see what he's got in that. Yeah, Clan Castle Golem. So he's gone in with the Shattered. He's only got the three Wall Breakers. So you want to make sure they're always on target. But um, where he's going to go in there, he's going to force that... Golem on the left hand side to path back in so that's done well to keep those golems nice and in front of that king nice and in front of the queen it would be quite a hard path to um, get the uh, items not running around the bottom there you see how that wall section's opened so dragon loon clan castle 
His raged old Jimmy Bob bats to get done the Queen early. Expos look like they're on ground, so they're going to be giving some added pressure all throughout. Started his hounds. This is such a big combo still in wars. Uh, we did get asked on the weekend in the war with JTJ um, how we get a lot of three-star first hits. And it's just managing to assess the base you're hitting, realistically. You've got to make sure you know a few combos. Um, I myself have certain combos which are my favourite, but at the same time I can hopefully use just about anything with Town Hall 9 bar Valks as they're not upgraded on my Town Hall 9. But um, he's absolutely smashed this base. There's at least a dozen loons left. Um, just the one Tesla left now. That drops down. So he's got a good spread on all of that now. Gets down a few gobos and archers. And uh, Queen's still alive in the middle. Pew pew and away. So brilliant attack CF. Um, and it's good to see the old Golar loon still not dying. Last replay we have for the week will be from The Clashing Dead. And this was a Town Hall 9 Goverho. Uh, 65k base, so medium sized base. Good looking design. It's got that um, that dead centre. So there's only the clan castle in the centre there. It doesn't look like any visible defences. But um, still your level 10 arch towers and cannons. And even the Town Hall 8 whiz towers. But anyone that's been into a Town Hall 9 organised war. Or even obviously with the bigger ones. These are still bases that they're designed well. They're designed to make sure that uh, they can try and defend at least that one attack and hold that back. So Pekka Clan Castle. It's always funny watching them beat on a poor queen. Um, I never would have thought about it before I actually entered into organised wars myself. Tried them once, never liked them. But uh, organised wars, they do play quite often. So you see the redheads, they're, they're doing a fair bit of tanking, unfortunately. Still got two left. He should have his hog starting soon. Queen's in the middle there. She's still got her ability. And that's where the hog start coming out. He's going to be surgical with him. And that's important in bases like this. You want to make sure you're surgical because you would expect a double giant bomb to come between that um, expo and that uh, buddy, what do you call it? Air defense there, but no. Just the three Teslas on the far there. The fourth one has gone. Still got five hogs left. Still got a heel left. Plenty to go. So good attack, Milk Tea. This was, uh, is one of Albert's ults. So yeah, I um, hope you guys have really enjoyed the week. Uh, a lot of replays. We've still got to get our system a little bit more in line. But the recording's starting to look a hell of a lot better. Um... Big up to all the guys and girls that have participated in this week. And um, I hope to see you guys next week. Remember to subscribe. Everything helps. You got his eye. Run across the room. You got his eye.